as for who goes up to the fourth, it'll either be Wickham Wanderers, who've never been in the league, but have got a brand new stadium, an average attendance of 4,000, and ITV's Alan Parry on their board of directors. Or Colchester United, who were in the league up until two years ago and who are currently having to raise £80,000 to make sure their old ground at Lair Road is up to scratch if they get promotion. I think it means everything to the town, the players, the directors, the chairman, to get back in the Football League and get your league status back. Um, the conference hasn't been a bad experience, I don't think, you know, the lads have quite enjoyed the football, but there's nothing like playing in the Football League. In the fourth division, the third division, the second division, you can finish sixth in the table and still get promoted. I think the conference actually is the hardest league in all of England to win. Only the top team is successful ultimately. And what a pressure that is. One slip now by ourselves or Colchester and a season's work is down the drain. And in the last two years, the race to get out of the conference has gone to the last day. This year looks like being just the same. Wickham went into Easter level on points, but second on goal difference. They did their best to close that gap, beating Welling 4-0 and Bath 1-0. But Colchester didn't drop a points over the holiday period either, and on Wednesday they edged themselves further in front, while Wickham could only draw at Kettering. Colchester won 4-0 at Boston. With three games left, they're showing more.